So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week two. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what's up for the week. So we're going to be looking at Eververse and the challenges. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Acolyte's Ascent, complete week two of the Bladed Path quest. So unfortunately, last week I did the first one for on all characters and I lost the footage because my hard drive died. Um, I'm going to see if I can find or I can find someone who hasn't done the week one yet. If not, I might just take someone's... Uh, someone's uh playthrough of it obviously i'll ask permission and then just put it on my channel because i want to have the the quests in my channel even though they don't do well like analytically i just still like to have it just just because uh luminaria one master the light by defeating combatants with void arc or solar damage explore the arcana arts by identifying minor arcana cards at the lectern of divination in the athena athena Athenaeum. Athenaeum? Either way, Void, Arc, or Solar. If you already had the Minor Arcana identified, then you sh should be good. Legend Spire. Complete Spire. Uh, Seventh Moon Spire on Legend difficulty. I fucking hate these because they're not match made. So we'll see when I complete this. Wisp and Whispers. Draw Whisper cards from the deck of Whispers in Seventh Moon Spire or the Altars of Summoning to earn powerful bonuses. Unlock the Deck of Whispers by identifying five major Arcana cards at the Lectern of Divination. I still don't have this. Uh, to be fair, I haven't really like tried to find any of them, so that's probably why. Most Dangerous Prey defeat Guardians in Gambit or Crucible. I'm probably just going to complete this in Crucible um, because uh, it, doing it in Gambit sounds terrible. Absolutely stunning, stunny, stun champions, 50 of them. Uh, we'll see what the nightfall is to see if it's an easy one or not. Bank kill repeat, earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers or defeating guardians in Gambit. I'm surprised they're still doing Gambit ones considering I thought they were going to be taking them out. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely think some of these are pretty simple, but aside from like Legend Aspire and Bank kill repeat, other than that, I don't think it's that rough. <laughs> uh for the nightfall this week let's actually see what it is so that way uh because i most likely will just complete it complete it in the nightfall it is the moon specifically the heist battleground i would not do it here just because the beginning is very chaotic so i probably would just do like a regular hero and just kind of lose my mind on it because i do have to level up my vanguard stuff anyways to get the shader so i Probably would just do that. As for Eververse, let's see what she's selling. So she's selling Cursed Azure. The shader's okay. Um, yeah, that's really it. It's okay. I definitely don't hate it, but it's okay. Also, this is the fashion that I have for for Moth Keeper's uh, wraps. It doesn't really matter that I'm showing you this because Moth Keeper wraps review should be coming out literally. Uh, right now actually at 10 o'clock uh, so that should show you what time I'm doing this video unfortunately I would have had this yesterday but for some reason on my connection to destiny 2 was just fucking piss poor and uh, I woke up to a hurricane today so that's why a lot of stuff uh, is being really slow right now we have Erebus Glance. This shader is so dope. I will have the Erebus Glance review up right now because I did make a video for this. I definitely recommend people to pick the shader up because it is a good black. That being said, you guys can see the off color is the orange. I even in the in the review of the shader, I do I do say that I like that because of a combination with another shader. I won't spoil it because you might as well watch that video because it is a really good video. We have Pyramid Entrance for a transmat effect and then violent exorcism i i wish i liked this one a little more i might still pick it up just because having variety would be nice um and it does change the model quite a bit compared to the other one that i have considering it's just a shader change but yeah i definitely want to pick this one up we have gong show yeah and then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Chalice Projection, the Mara Multi-Tool. I'm thinking about picking this one up. <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking about picking this one up. It's a cool ornament. And if you have Dreaming uh, City Weapons, it's, it's going to look really cool with it. We have Overpacked. Damn, I should have picked the one up from last week, last week bro, because this is the 
Fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna regret that. I know I'm gonna regret that because I should have picked the ghost up because this is the sparrow for that. Hmm. Man, unfortunate. We have wings of the firebird, which definitely looks cool, but I don't really care for it. Astrologic shell, which looks cool. We have scene clapper. Oh, oh, that's funny. I might pick that up. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? And then stargazer. No exit animation. The other stuff we have Vex Incursion Entrance. We have Cannon Fodder. And Capsule Gang Entrance. For the other shaders, it's Butterbark. I'm not the biggest fan of Butterbark just because of the yellow. I don't even mind the wood texture that like I think that's cool. It's just a yellow, just like the mustard yellow I'm not a fan of. We have oiled gunmetal. This is a really good shader. I definitely would recommend this one. It's a pretty good black, but I do think it looks good on actual weapons because it does give it this sheen. And yeah, I would still definitely pick this one up. We have atmosphere glow. Definitely pick this one up too. It's a really good green, although there is a bright green, um, like not afterglow, but the secondary shader or color. Just be aware of that. But other than that, the main green is really good. And then Warbrick, which I actually like Warbrick quite a bit. That being said, I do like the off color more because the red is so good, but I still would recommend this shader. Overall, nothing too crazy this week. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing or picking up in the comments below. I am almost I'm almost done to level 40 for the organic adornment shader. Once I get this, we're going to start reviewing some of the shaders that I've gotten this season because I didn't do that last season and I'm still kind of annoyed with myself because some shaders last season were really good. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.